spirit of God expresses himself through our emotions. He expresses himself through our emotions in groanings. Groaning means there's a discomfort. You feel a discomfort. It is called a spirit-inspired emotion. Spirit-inspired emotion. And sometimes he could express himself in joy. You just find yourself laughing in the Holy Ghost. Nothing physical for laughter. But the Holy Ghost inspires your emotions to start laughing in view of a victory he has already made available. So you find yourself laughing and people think maybe you are not together. No, you are more together than them. These are not drunk as you suppose. But this is that. <laughs> these are not drunk as you suppose but this is that you know sometimes when the holy ghost gets a hold of you it could look like you're a drunkard because the symptoms of a drunkard are similar to the symptoms of a man drunk in the spirit you stagger you stagger you stagger sometimes even your speech your speech is very very sluggish that's why I say instead of drinking alcohol, there is something better than alcohol inside you. Juju Birikata. Lia tu balara. Hey! 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 Somebody shout Holy Ghost! He said, Be not drunk with wine. Leave alcohol. There is a better alcohol. It's called be filled with the spirit. Zubile Tanada speaking you know drunkards talk to themselves eh? I, I hope you know that i've never been a drunkard so stop looking at me like that but drunkards speak to themselves i've been around drunkards i see people drink and i see them get drunk and then when they drink they start doing funny things you see a man that is drunk killing flies that don't exist you ask him what is that he said these flies you look around there is no fly yeah, there are symptoms of getting drunk. You know, it's like you're drunk in the spirit and you're busy. Doing, hey! Hey! And everybody's wondering what is hey. It's only you in the spirit that knows what you're saying. And then you see people who are drunk, they stagger. They can't stand straight. You know, a man that is drunk cannot stand straight. There is always a twist to the way he stands. You see him standing and by himself he's about to fall, so he will adjust. You know, there's a twist about people that are drunk and sometimes you get into the holy ghost to a point where you're also staggering so instead of waiting for alcohol shock the one inside you shock the one inside you the one inside you is beneficial the other one is destructive to health Ooh, la, 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 la. Zima, nangolo, do, 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 do. hey kalea no and then sometimes when people get drunk, they don't remember the way to their house. They don't remember. They arrive at somewhere. We have had people in services, Holy Ghost services, who got so drunk, people had to carry them home. Because if they go by themselves, they will end up in somebody's house. People had to wait, carry them home. And even on their way home, they, they, they were too drunk that at certain intervals, they stopped and manifested. Everybody's waiting. This guy has gone too far. Glory to God. 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 And brother, that experience is out of this world. And friends, nothing stops you from having it every day. You can have it in your room all by yourself. You stagger and stagger and sit on the floor and lay on the floor. Hey! And speak mysteries. We have something to brag about. Holy Ghost! I will not leave you comfortless. Glory to God. So the Holy Ghost inspires certain emotions. Like joy. Like groaning. Like agonizing. These are inspired emotions of the Holy Ghost. Agonizing. Jesus was in agony. Jesus groaned. Jesus rejoiced. Also, Holy Ghost inspires, Holy Ghost inspired singing. 
I will pray in the spirit. I will pray with my understanding also. I will sing in the spirit. And I will sing with my understanding. How do I sing in the spirit? Instead of speaking, you sustain the tongue. Singing is sustained talking. Hallelujah. What did I say? Hallelujah. What did I say? Hallelujah. But I sustained it. Hallelujah. So how do we sing in tongues? Sustain tonguing. Sustain tongue and grand umbra boza kata imano anjanga brondelia lingoziana. Ela Mroda gengele ya na Munda ladaba Riandoga Riandoga Elia nana riandala Boja kayanaga Some of you are looking at me You will soon go to music school don't worry we pray in the spirit We pray with our understanding We sing where you give rhythm to your tongues. What did I say? You give rhythm to your tongues. There is no church melody. There is no church melody. There is no Bible melody. Melody is melody. So the same way, we use the same melody to sing church songs. And the same melody is used for secular singing. That is the same way you will find that when you are inspired by the spirit to sing in tongues, it has a resemblance with singing in the natural. It's just that the content is not the same. The difference is the content. The difference is what? Is the content. So you, you sing. He says, I will sing. He didn't say the spirit will sing. Who will sing? Who will sing? He says, I will pray in the spirit. Who will pray? It is within the purview of you doing it. It's your will. I will wear a blue cloth to church. I will wear a white cloth to church. Whether blue or white, all of them are accepted by the Holy Ghost. I will sing. It's time to sing in the spirit. It's time to sing in the spirit. Some of us can't sing in the spirit. It's time for us to sing in the spirit. When you begin to sing in the spirit, you begin to generate so much strength on your inside. And sometimes you can sing for such a long time. And the same way you sing in the spirit, you can pray in the spirit. And the same way you can also turn it into your understanding. And there are times you can sing in the spirit after a while, you have an understanding of what you are saying in the spirit, you translate it into English. Then it becomes tongues and interpretation, which is equals to prophecy. It becomes what? Tongues and interpretation, which is equals to what? Prophecy. And they will produce edification for the people of God. Somebody is not shouting a powerful amen. Yeah.